Hello fellow survivors, this is Fire Knight here and uh, today I am bringing you a small mod showcase for the Capitalism mod. What this mod adds into Ark is a bunch of new, well, actually the, I should go ahead and start off saying that this mod is modular, meaning that you have to have installed independent parts for the best way I can explain it to get each of these different tables. Now, what are these tables used for, you ask? Well, there's two types of tables. One for each type of resource, and so far there are four different types of tables, with the exception of the player table over there, which we'll cover last. So, first thing you may have noticed is that I have a new item in my inventory. Taking a look at this item, it is called a glory coin. This is the currency that is added in by this mod and is the base for all the other mods. You have to have the capitalism currency mod installed for any of the other ones to work, otherwise you will crash. Trust me, I have had experience with it because I was a little bit dumb setting up this whole entire thing on my server. Which we are actually on, this is the merchant area, but I have everything laid out so you can see all this. So the first way thing I'm going to go ahead and show you is how to get a glory coin. So I'm going to come over here to the selling table. This is the basic resources table. You open it up and you get a GUI with a whole bunch of different type of engrams. What these engrams are is, as you can see for right here, the black pearls, you can sell 10 black pearls for one glory coin. This is completely customizable through your configurations, you do have to actually fiddle with the config file, which I may show in a different episode or a different video, but not right now. So what we're going to go ahead and do is take the thatch and drop it right in here. Then after that, we are going to go ahead and click on sale. You don't have to actually select anything from what I've seen. And see, I sold 100 thatch for one glory coin. So now what I can go ahead and do is come up here, and as you can see, you can buy a different number of resources for a glory coin apiece. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is buy some, let's see, we'll buy some rare flowers. And you actually do have to select it on this one, otherwise it just doesn't work from what I've seen. In fact, just to show you, see? And you can actually buy a whole stack of these, so you can spend a stack of coins in order to buy, buy it. Or, yeah, I am terrible at this, I'm sorry. So what I mean is you can say, all right, first I'm gonna go ahead and get some more coins. Which, by the way, before I, you delete that. What you can do is if you have the coin in your hotbar or you select use coin, you can actually place down these little bags. These bags are the, they only store coins. See, this one has one single coin. This one has a lot more, 99,999. They do stack up to 10,000, and when you take the last coin, it automatically destroys it. And also, if you decide to throw the coin out of your inventory, to, like give it to a friend, notice that it did not drop a box. These items automatically delete if you drop them, so word to the wise, just put down a bag for your friend. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of these coins. And now, let's see. We are going to go ahead and do... And if you don't know how to transfer one at a time like that, you just hold control and press T over the item. So, let's go ahead and buy five. And so, you bought this five times. And one second, a little bit of lag on my end. 
So as you can see, this is the resource table, all the basic resources you can get. There are a few items that are in different tables for various reasons, so keep that in mind. And both tables are pretty much identical, as in they are going to have the same resources listed. Though it is up to your server on how they're priced and if they are actually available for sale. Because the server admins or server host can decide to completely nullify the buying and selling of certain items. Which I will actually show you because I do have it set up a certain, that way on one of my tables here. So, in the meat stand, you can, of course, sell blood, any of the cooked meats or jerkied meats, leech's blood, and rotten meat. Rotten meat naturally has a high sell rate, though, on, and as you probably already noticed, I am on Scorched Earth, so you get a lot of rotten meat on Scorched Earth, it's probably a good idea to save it up to sell on here. And of course, you can come over here and buy the same things for glory po coin apiece. Next, we go on to the egg selling table. This is probably, in my personal opinion, one of the best things. Oh, he changed it again. Sorry, the mod creator apparently updated it. To... So, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different eggs, but you'll notice minus 14. That means that some of the... I Items that are normally able to be bought or sold are have been removed. So you notice that I have Elios, and these are by alphabetical order, so keep that in mind also. But let's see. Like the dodo egg is not here, if you noticed here. That's because I have it disabled because there's not really any need for dodo eggs on Scorched Turf. Once again, you can do the same thing over on this table. Each table has its own config files, so it can be it can take a lot of room on your configs. So, and finally, the newest one as of the this video posting is the agricultural or the crop selling and buying tables. Of course, this enables you to buy all the different seeds, different berries. The crops themselves, plant X species, which is really nice for squirt stir. Of course, you on this server you have to sell a lot of them to get a single glory coin, so not really any reason to. And of course, and you can buy fertilizer, re-fertilizer. The if you're not familiar with what re-fertilizer does, it basically causes resources to spawn back, even if there is structures in the way. And then you can also buy each size poop for a different, well, I'm saying buy, you can sell, you can buy over here on this one. So, that's all the basic tables. The one last thing we have is the player sell selling table, which, as you see as I walk up, you see that it's closed. There is a reason for this. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to come over here if my game will stop lagging, I'm sorry. And I'm going to go ahead and just buy some black pearls. Now let's say I was wanting to actually sell these black pearls for one apiece, we'll say. So we'll throw the black pearls in here first. You'll notice it says force update because this table actually only sells one item at a time unless you tell it otherwise. And you force update to make it read any of the new items. And you'll also notice there's two new Ingrams in here. These are very crucial in order to be able to sell. So you'll need two glory coins, well, Actually, you only need the first one. So you want to craft it, and automatically it'll open up the note text. For this one, you want to put in the price of your item. We're going to put it for one glory coin per. 
If you do not fill it in right then, unlike the notes, you cannot fill it in later, and it's just going to waste space in your inventory, so keep that in mind. And then right here is the quantity of the stacks that we're selling. This one is completely optional. If you don't do it, it's going to sell one at a time. If you do put this in, let's say if you wanted to sell for the exact same amount you want, or in other words, you're wanting to get your money back. Which I'll go ahead and do that once. We'll sell it for five. Alright, and now you'll see the chain this has changed up here. By one black pearl for alright, I think I messed that up somewhere. For something. There we go. By five black pearls for one GC. If I press E, as you notice up on the top, I just spent a glory coin, I got the black pearls, and this is now out of stock. So, let's go ahead and put that back in, and just remove this. And you notice there's now a new glory coin in here because it automatically locks it in. And notice, I do have both of these right here, the access inventory is only available if you are the owner or you're a part of the tribe who owns the table. You'll also notice that a lot these tables have a lot of health. They do take damage from metal, if I remember correctly. Like, not metal. They have the, what's it called? Structure strength of metal. The reason they are not indestructible is because of the fact that the mod creator doesn't want people to just build a whole bunch of these, which... On my server, this is the only one you, a player can build. All the other ones are restricted, so that way people have to come to the community area. But regardless, the only one you can build is the cell table. And he set it up so that way it has a lot of health, but it's metal tiered so that way people can't just break it to in order to get whatever's inside. But they also players can't also just block off cru crucial areas like caves or resource spawns just by setting down a whole bunch of tables and just walking away. And just to show that the gl glory coins are put into this inventory, there's now six in here. Alright, so far that's all I can think about as of this moment for anything involving this mod. <coughs> I know that the mod creator is still updating and adding new content all the time. I know there is plans for being able to, for a player owned table that sell, enables them to put refrigerated items in there such as crops and fertilized eggs and regular eggs and basically just all the items that have spoil timers and increase the spoil time so they don't just waste away in the inventory. They're also planning on adding a special table for event items. A admin based table which is something I requested along with the event table. I know they're going to be adding a table or it was in their development notes, but they were planning on adding a table for fertilized eggs. Though I don't know if that one is still in the work in progress. And if you notice, none of these tables have the Scorched Turf resources yet. That is just because as of this, the time of filming this, the Scorched Earth DLC dev kit has not been released. So the mod creator is not able to actually add those items to the tables but he is planning on adding them to the tables once the the dev kit has un been released to the public so for the people asking about that there's that oh wait there we are And just because. 
All right. So, as stated, that's everything. If if you're interested in trying out the mod the way I have it set up or anything, I will be leaving links in the description to not only the mod, which I'm going to be actually putting it to the creator. Um, the, it is a Steam-based mod, so you will have to have Arc on Steam, but I'm going to be leaving a link in the description for a all the mods based off of this mod creator because these are literally the only mods he has as of this time. I will also be leaving a link to my my server so that way if you decide to try joining we do have a few mods most of the settings are set to normal with the exception of water and food drain being slightly lower than normal but other than that everything else is the same. As you notice, the big blue bubble, that's a different mod that makes this a non-PVP zone, but that's for a different video, possibly. Alright, so with that said, once again, thank you, for, well, thank you for watching Survivors, and I have no clue what to say for my outro. Goodbye.